Yeah, so, um, I'm doing the pork crackling strips now because my throat is killing me. I've got fluid in my lungs. <coughs> and I want something crunchy to sort of soothe my throat. Anyways, um, let's try and a bit of an update. There's some uh, cheaper single bachelor apartments coming up available so I am going to be saving my first and last to move out of here and find what's probably a cheap rundown crapple apartment of my own but it'll be of my own no roommate because I don't like living with people I want to live on my own Anyways, Portuguese crackling, pork crackling scripts, even though it's, um, you know, I know it said Portuguese, but it says product of USA. US inspected and passed by Department of Agriculture. And then it says EST17642. I don't know what EST means because they, I thought it meant established, but it's, you know, it's a five digit number. It's not established 1764, it's established 17,642. Oh, an ingredient? Pork fat with attached skin and salt. So they're pork rinds, lovely. They're pork rinds. Mm. Let's. Okay, I opened it without, um. They stink. They stink. They stink and they have no flavor. You know, you think with it being fat, pork fat will taste, um, have some sort of flavor and there is some attached skin because there's a crunch where the other pork rinds were like almost chewy There's not even a pork flavor to it, it's just... Don't just help my throat. It is helping my throat. <coughs> my throat, but I mean, there's just no... Like it says, the ingredients are just pretty much pork fat, pork skin, and salt. I'm not even, I'm not even tasting salt. It's not disgusting. It's too boring to be disgusting. It's just bland. Will I finish if I'm, will I finish him up? I'll probably. I just don't know how long it'll take me. They're not even satisfying. Like usually when you eat something that's um satisfying, you want more. 
in or, or at least you feel, I know, I admit I didn't eat that much, but I mean, there's not, there's not that satisfying, like, yeah, this is getting hearty, it's just, it's bland, it's boring, it doesn't satisfy my hunger, not that I'm hungry right now, I'm just more sore throat right now, which is why I decided to eat it, but it's just, it's boring. You'd think with the um, skin, it would have some sort of flavor to it, like some sort of um, pork or bacon flavor, but no. And it stinks. Like, and it doesn't even stink naturally, like... <coughs> It doesn't smell like an old bacon frying pan that hasn't been washed. No, it just it has this just generic trash cafeteria run down kitchen smell. Just a generic stink. And yet the taste, it's, it's not offensive. The stench certainly is, but the flavor is too boring to be offensive, which is, in, in my rather unhumble opinion, the most offensive thing of all. Like, say what you see well about really bad food. At least there's a flavor behind it. This is just... Giving me gas? I don't know. But it's just, it's boring. Bland, boring. Doesn't even have a pork aftertaste. The fact that I bought it as a Portuguese section and yet it's a product of USA and there's, well, I mean, most of the writing is in Spanish or Portuguese. I can't tell the difference. I don't. I just am a little more um, knowledgeable in Spanish, but I'm knowledgeable in Spanish enough to know that I won't be able to tell the difference between Spanish and Portuguese. And most of the wording is in um, some sort of a... Uh, Spanish or Portuguese writing, and notice this product of USA, and it's inspected by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. So I don't know, maybe it's made in the USA for the Portuguese market, and um, yeah, whatever. Anyways, take care, everybody. Have yourselves a good day, and bye.